Many of you know, I have my old Bones mitts for a long time and many seasons. They are starting to wear out on me. So I broke down and got a new set of Kinko gloves. These things are all the rage out here in Steamboat. They're 30 bucks online and put the Nick Wax water resistant material on them and they work absolutely great. They're a little stiff to break in, but that's to be expected with any kind of leather rawhide material. Also, they don't have a lanyard that I got spoiled with all my other snowboard gloves, but compared to $80 or even 60 bucks for some of the crab grabs, $30 is half off and I can put that money towards a lift pass. So let's test these bad boys out and let you know what I think. After rocking these gloves for a while, I gotta say, my only gripe is I can't work my GoPro functions. It is a pain in the dick to turn them on and off. But overall, I love these things. Well worth the 30 bucks. Hands are toasty. I've dropped them in PAL a couple times. They're waterproof still, nice and dry. But they'll break in and then they'll be 100% awesome. I might have to fashion myself some lanyards too because I get real lazy when it comes to holding all my crap. So day two in the budget mitts and I can already start working my GoPro. They're wearing in quite well. My major complaint is now void. During a PAL day and i am been soaked since I got out of the car, my gloves, as you can see by the wet spots here, are actually starting to get wet. I should have used both the Nick Wax packs, one on each hand, instead of being cheap and just using one and thinking I was going to get away with it next year because I was wrong. I'm actually going to dry these off at the end of the day and put the other package on here in hopes of saving these. So one more thing about these mitts is they don't have the tacky grip that some other mitts do to really allow you to stick onto the chairlift or to hold on to your grabs for your board. Here I'm at Blue Mountain slush slashing for the last day of the season and I'm totally rocking these Kinko gloves all day long, dipping them in the deep wet east coast slush just to see what kind of results I get. And I gotta say, I'm really happy with these things. I have been all season since I got them. My hands have been super warm and really dry. If you guys have any experiences with the Kinko mitts, comment below and let me know what you think. Also, I think that they're freaking awesome and they're well worth the bang for the buck. I'll include a link below. I literally, the only gripe that I have is they don't have lanyards, so I keep losing them. And that's kind of, I'm a derp, so it happens. I know this is a review video, but here's how I made my own for an above average cost of $12. Mostly due to the new roll of paracord and the $4 repair kit. However, if you have 4 feet or 122 centimeters of 550 cord laying around, or you can score the cable lock separately, you can do this way cheaper. I love my old Bonesmith so much I based my new lanyard design off them. Note some of the specs are the same as the new Kinko Mitch, such as the long cuffs and the leather pull tabs. However, these Kinko mitts fit much closer to work glove sizes. Example, I rock an extra large in crab grabs and grenades, yet I'm only a large in these bad boys or most other work gloves. First, I measured out approximately 23 inches or 59 centimeters of 550 cord, cut two sections to that side, and burnt the ends so they won't fray. Then I simply cram each end at a time through the loop, Line them up close to the end and tie them off. Cinch the knot real good so it won't come loose. And then you slide the cable lock over the loop. And now back to your regularly scheduled review. I can't think of a better way to test these mitts out than by grinding them on some fresh Ice Coast groomers. I've been back for almost three weeks now, so I've been dragging knuckles for a while. And I actually don't drag my knuckles, I drag my fingertips. As you can see here, there's a little bit of scuffing, but it's not bad. Considering I've been dragging them up and down the ice coast for the past three weeks, I think they're doing great.
Oh, and I put a week on them in Powtown too. So after rocking these gloves all day long and even hitting up Beacon Basin to test out my new Avalanche Beacon and digging with these things in the snow all afternoon, my hands stayed warm and dry. The only point that I have is I was dragging a little bit when I was going down some steeps yesterday and there is a little mark already which was a little disappointing due to the fact that they're so hard and the conditions here are such pristine powder. I didn't see that happening until after I got back to the east coast. And they're a little firm, I was having issues working my GoPro buttons. However, even the first day out they were not so firm that I couldn't lock my own helmet strap on or they weren't giving me issues with using my bindings. I was able to engage the ratchets no problem with these things. So I'm going to have to give these 4 out of 5 Jerry Skiers. The only reason why they're not getting 4.5 or even 5 is because they do require constant upkeep. Every season or maybe even twice a season you need to re-waterproof these with some type of leather waterproof material. Even when your hands are soaking wet and miserably cold because you need, desperately need a new set of gloves, just board through the pain!